Hi friends, let's talk about onions. I know a lot of people don't like onions, but honestly, onions are pretty good for you. They're full of antioxidants, vitamins. They have a great source of vitamin C. They help with cholesterol, lower your blood sugar levels. Um, they have many nutrients. They're inflammatory. They can reduce risks of vitamin um, Alzheimer's and they have high vitamin C, as I had mentioned. Um, they help fight inflammation. Those are things that we need in our body and that can help us. They also have an abundant amount of B1, B6, folic acid, magnesium, and phosphorus. And actually what I found to be the most interesting thing about onions, you can find my source on the India Times. Also, Down to Earth has an article about it. There's, gosh, very many articles on this. But it is how India planted a bunch of onions to absorb and reduce the radiation impact. And to me, that is amazing. It worked. So onions have the ability to absorb that nasty stuff that we don't want in our bodies. So here's a few ideas in how to utilize onions. You could go ahead and chop up an onion and add it to water that will infuse. You can put that in the refrigerator, make it cold. Amazingly, it doesn't taste that bad. You can also add raw honey to it also, and I've got some raw honey here. Another idea for your children's room or for kids, because it's going to be really hard to get kids to eat, drink some onion water or to eat raw onions. Of course, I wouldn't even want to do that. But you can slice an onion in half and you put honey in the middle of that. And what you do, you set this in a container and you put a lid on it or you can cover it with cellophane in a bowl and let that sit. And you will start to have a liquid produced at the bottom of that bowl and you use that as a syrup of course you could add a little bit more honey or cinnamon to it some clove to make it a little bit more to your child's liking or to your liking just some ideas it's that time of year and don't get rid of your onion peels save those put them in your freezer make some bone broth next time you have beef bones or some chicken bones. That bone broth is a result of the bone marrow in those bones cooking down and all those properties going through that broth. You can put it in the freezer. You can can it. That's what Grandma was talking about, that chicken soup. It wasn't Campbell's chicken soup. It wasn't ramen noodle chicken soup. It was bone broth. That's the key to that chicken soup helping you get better quicker if you'd like to see a video on how to make bone broth just let me know be happy to do it stay healthy friends